and welcome back to Lost Compass Ranch. Going to do a product review on a 2016 Adam Excursion three horse gooseneck trailer with a dressing room. This is my trailer. I've had it since I ordered it back in October of 2015. This trailer's been great. It pulls like a dream. I can even pull it at higher speeds such as 80 miles an hour and it doesn't even feel like it's there. So this trailer is good. I'm actually upgrading to a living quarters because I am in need of that now and sad to see this trailer go, but wanted to share it with everybody before I do trade it in. So this trailer is for three horses. On this side, on the left side, you can see we have our emergency door and drop down windows with bars that also drop down so you can feed horses as needed if you want to. The drop downs are very easy to use. You simply pull on the handle, it pops down, and is open simply like that. Very easy to do and very easy to put back up as well. Simply pull on the window, put it up, slam it up, and it is on. So this trailer is about 18 feet in length. I did get the little extra height to it, which I believe is seven and a half feet. Um, it is also either seven and a half feet or eight feet wide. That comes with an emergency door, which opens very easily and stays open by itself. It comes with chest and butt bars, of course, to protect the animals. And it's very easy to secure. So it comes with these little latches. And this handle goes in, snaps in, and is in pretty good. You can also lock if you want as well. Uh, all the locks are keyed the same. So Adam has done a fabulous job with this trailer. They do have their emblem on a few different spots. They've got it um, here next to the wheels and they've got it on each wheel as well. There is a nice step on each side, so I like these because I like to sit down or if I need to climb around the trailer, very easy to do. The back of the trailer does have two doors. This does have a rear tack, which is here on the left. That is collapsible. I typically don't use this for tack. Occasionally I will, uh, depending if I need a lot of stuff in the dressing room or not. Um, this collapses down very easy. It's simply secured by two different pins, which is easy to remove and put in. There's the other one. It comes with a bar back here that holds three blankets, has a halter or bridle rack, and then has a brush bucket as well. And then it has this protective shield. Um, I actually had to ask what that was for when I bought this trailer. Uh, simply, I didn't understand why there would be what looks like a mirror down that low. And that's simply to protect the paint of the door from bits and such. So, again, very easy to close. I'm actually doing this all with one hand as I'm holding the camera in the other. And then this is the horse side. This center post that holds these doors separated can um, come out without, without difficulty. I have done that and it's pretty simple. These, all, these doors are all pinned or held by pins that I can use one hand with. Of course, I'm using my leg. So that soles like that, and the door stays open. I do have uh, this padding that goes up the sides of the walls of the trailer, protects the trailer, gives more comfort to the horse, helps with sound. Has, of course, mats that can be pulled out, and then slants on each of the areas that needs that to hold the three horses. This is the emergency door from the inside. Um, I have swept out the trailer, but of course it's not clean. I do have bus windows on this side that provides airflow for the horses. They are screened and then I also have three vents that can open either forward or backward to allow for more airflow. I am a big proponent for airflow, which so I'm happy to have these, uh, these vents in the slants to provide additional airflow in between the horses. These slants are very easy. They're made aluminum, very light. They snap in very simply, push in like that and your horse is in place. And then very simply remove by pulling up on that. I can do it one hand, and this and this slant comes out very simply. So very nice horse area. Very it fits comfortably. Three horses. If you've got a larger, bigger, wider guy, you can put, you can put them in a back slant with the collapsible tack. Collapse and gives you even more space. And then again, this is very easy to do. Simply lift up on that. Move the door away so it doesn't rehook. Door wants to swing shut. And we go over. And latch the door securely. And these are secure. Alright. I did have an awning put on this trailer by Adam. 
and it is a maroon colored awning. I do like it. It's easy to use by myself. Uh, it's come in handy a couple times and it rolls up nicely uh, when I'm not needing it. This is the dressing room. Again, has one of these pins to hold the door open. Very simple. There we go. This uh, dressing room also comes with a screen door. It has a slide so I can access the lock behind it and then I can have the screen door shut during the day and have extra ventilation if I need to. So very easy to open. This also locks the keys to this are the same as the keys to the horse area. All right, so this is the gooseneck dressing room area. It's quite a lot of room in here. Uh, it's carpet up on top, carpet on the wall, and then on the floor. I didn't, I had them put in rubber mats instead of carpet. I don't like carpet on the floor. It just gets too, um, too destroyed too quickly. I also had them put in this bar to help with um, catching things uh, during transport so I don't have the whole mess of items sliding off. The uh, tree set, uh, the tree for the saddles is very simple. It comes with three. It's three horse plants. We end up with having three saddles. And that pin up there allows me to release it and take this and put it in the back tack if I need to. I also have this step put in. It allows me to help to get up and down on the gooseneck area without issue. I had the hooks up here upgraded to metal. I didn't like the plastic, like the, it would have been the similar ones in the back. I like the metal better, so I had that put in. And then another thing I added was this water tank in the corner. It's kind of a wasted space in that corner anyway, so it's a great use for this tank. Um, this tank allows me to take, I think it's about 32 or 35 gallons of water with me. So the horses have water they're familiar with, and then if I get, have to stop anywhere in emergency, I have uh, water for the horses. Has a nice lip. It keeps a lot of it keeps the rain out. I've not had any problems with it leaking in here or anything of that nature. Uh, the light at top, and it has this nice step as I mentioned earlier, so you can sit, you can rest things. It's very nice. I know a lot of trailers don't have that, so it it is a nice little feature that allows you to do that. And then to release the door, so if we push that, pull up, and the door slams shut. Simple. We have um, running lights on each side. And then I also had put on those LEDs on each side. Um, there was already a light on the back, but I wanted lights on the side because I hate on tacking in the dark. So those are LEDs, very bright, very nice, and very wonderful. It's, um, the switches are on the back for that. Uh, it's one switch, it turns all the lights on the outside on, and then the opposite switch turns the uh, light in the horse area on. So this is the nose of the trailer. I don't have the chrome on the front. I didn't understand the reasoning for it. And honestly, everyone I've seen it, it, it always looks like you have to clean it. Whereas the white, here in Florida, yeah, love bug season makes you have to clean this, but generally it looks like the rest of the trailer. So it's actually um, a nice look to it. It's a nice clean look to the trailer, which I really liked. Uh, this is the gooseneck hitch area. I do have a lock on it, so this does not go with this. Um, but that makes it me feel safer. Uh, the brake system is great on this. And then um, we have the ratchet, this is a manual, so you do have to um, manually raise and lower the trailer, which is fine. And then the, the leg is spring-loaded as well. So I want to say something about this tire. This is one of the Adams trailer tires. Um, I had a blowout a few weeks ago. There was a lot of debris from some vehicle in the middle of the road that I couldn't avoid. I thought I'd missed everything, but apparently I was wrong. And a piece of it uh, must have shredded this tire pretty good. You can see it's... It's pretty shot. Well, this tri this tire was on the left side, on the driver's side, and was the tire up front. This trailer didn't even act like it had a blown tire. I honestly didn't even know the tire was blown until somebody um, came up alongside, waving out the window, and pointing towards my tire. So I had to ha I had to hang my head out the door, and I was able to see that or had window, and I was able to see that one tires had blown. But this trailer pulled amazingly didn't even didn't even flinch um i this trailer is fabulous i pull it with an f-250 king ranch and it barely knows it's there i i give kudos to adam the trailer pulls along nicely it follows great and it, it handles itself well in a blowout uh, this this tire here what was the one that blew out and that's actually the spare so they give you a proper spare with a, the same rim and the same kind of tire. So overall, this is a great trailer. Um, it has little vents and I've got hookups on each side. So I've got two on this side and three on the other. I had them add an additional for friends so we can all hook up to the same trailer. 
And then here are the light switches that control the lights on the inside of the trailer, as well as the lights on the outside of the trailer. So again, really love this trailer. Sad to see it go, but it is time for me to get living quarters. And I am happy that somebody is going to get a very nice trailer. I've kept it in great condition. And I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing more Adam trailers here in Florida, uh, as there aren't very many. Uh, right now i do know there's a dealer that is picking up the line so that's very happy to hear again i hope you like this video please um push the like button if you want to see more of my product reviews i do have a few more up uh, please do subscribe and hit the notification and that will let you know whenever i put up a new video please share this i'm hoping everybody uh, enjoys and i hope anybody has the atom trailer as well please um please leave a comment below on what your thoughts are again this is a 2016 Adam excursion three horse uh, gooseneck trailer with a uh, dressing room.